Yeah. What we call broccoli, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bochicia is a bochicia species, <laughs> but actually the real name that we have is a branch dropping tree, Bota Rama. Okay. Uh huh. But so by the shape we call broccoli. <laughs> sure. Easy and nice, huh? So this is the dominant species in here. Uh, because they have no enemies, so they are no. I mean, the only one, and they come up to here. Those, those are the great green macaws to come to see it, but it is not quite common to see them. And uh, and there are many, many trees of those. So this is how they just comes to be the most common because they have no much enemies to be eating the seeds. So every single seed in this field will grow. So who is the broccoli tree? What's the genus? Uh, Bochicia. Bochicia, yeah. One of the ideas that we have to do here, if you see those trees pulling back to the rope or cables, is because we want to protect you. Mm -hmm. The trees, they we, we want straight and not anything touching the cars or hitting the cars. So this is the idea why we are pulling back. Mm -hmm. Another good example, yes, of the air roots, those group of things hanging over there. So this is another good example of this uh, mm -hmm. air roots. Air roots are always coming most from philodendron, but when you see a huge air root, they might be from, from those strangled fig trees, which is yeah. actually another one producing those roots straight down to the mm. ground. Yeah. There are more selaginellas here, look at that. Yeah, uh, those are filmy ferns. Filming? Yeah, uh, Hymenosalaceae, uh, uh, filmy fern. Kind of fern. Uh huh. They're, they're only one cell thick, so you can see right through them. Oh, really? Good. Yeah. Well, it's getting cloudy now, huh? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Maybe you'll see some rain. <laughs> yeah, it might be raining later on. This well, at least you cannot go out the rainforest without the rain. <laughs> But that's one of the principal factors of the forest to be green forever. Because humidity makes that to keep it green. This this must have been difficult to build because I don't see any roads around here. Yeah. It's hilly. I mean you take it make tons to build roads or things like that. Hmm. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I like the combination of in and out. Uh huh. Yeah, that's just nice. And that's the principal part of to show you all the levels or the views from different levels above mm -hmm. the ground and things like that. So you got an idea what you missed when you are doing the hiking through <laughs> the woods. And mm -hmm. yeah. So just capture an idea the things and we don't have any idea what they can be up there or animals or the insects at least animals we most of the time see uh, because they are big but insect about the pollination which is the most important who pollinate those trees up here most insects mm. and who disperse most birds and we don't see that from the ground so just this is just to see uh, the important part of the of all the different levels in the forest from the lower to the highest there will be always somebody doing a job in in the area mm. so doing a pollination this person the seed or whatever but you see something different
So brewers sitting at the palm leaf here to the right hand side where the leaves get across from each other. Down there, mm -hmm. a the yard. See those leaves making like a, a egg shape? Yeah. There's a brown spot right down there. That's a bird. That's a night yard. Where? Right down here. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh. That's brilliant. Yeah. Good disguise. That's a night yard. Not a po but a, a No, night no, it's uh -huh. in the, in the, well, night yard. Actually, yeah. nocturnal, yes. Yeah. Or oh, night hawks, we call. I hear something. Se lo dos con el con el cuyeo aquí en el, la mantequilla, en el pamito mantequilla, se lo dos, ahí está en el mismo 20. No pude ver bien. Correcto, eso es un lesser night yard. Copiado. No, Jaime, para enseñarlo no puedo tomar foto. Sí, se parece también, pero para mí yo creo que es un eh, Nayar, porque eh, no cruza, no cruza las alas. Sí. 